Well, here we are back at Rocket Industries once again. So let's go inside and take a look around. The camshaft. It's effectively the heart of your engine. In a nutshell, it actually determines the opening and closing times of your valves in your engine. It also determines how long they're open for, the duration, and ultimately the power characteristics of your engine, and more importantly, how much power it makes overall. It's very important when choosing a camshaft to make sure you make the right choice or your engine builder. Because at the end of the day, if you put a camshaft that's too big in that engine, it won't work efficiently. Everyone loves a camshaft that sounds like the cam from hell, like the world's gonna end. We all love it, it sounds fantastic, doesn't it? But you put a camshaft like that in the wrong type of engine with not enough compression or the wrong cylinder heads or the wrong intake or the wrong exhaust system, it's gonna be an absolute dog because it's all about building cylinder pressure, dynamic cylinder pressure through an RPM range. If you don't have enough static compression and the camshaft has a certain amount of overlap or valves are open for too long in a certain area or too much lift, it's just not gonna be a happy combination till a higher RPM. If it doesn't have the goods to work at high RPM, it's not gonna work either. So you've gotta have the right amount of compression, you've gotta have that dynamic cylinder pressure working for you where you want it for maximum power and torque. And when we talk about camshafts, there is effectively two types. There's a flat tap design here that's been around for years and years, and then we've got the roller camshaft design. Now, it was only a few years back that these were reserved for race engines only. Now, luckily, there's plenty of them out there on the street, and these are the most popular style of camshaft used today. Reason being is that they run a roller style lifter, a roller tipped valve lifter, like this one here. Now compare that to your old flat tappet style here. There's quite a difference as you can see. On the flat tappet camshaft, this surface here comes in contact with the lobe. On the roller camshaft, the roller runs around the lobe. So there's less friction, but it also gives you the opportunity to run a more aggressive ramp rate and higher lifts for a given duration. And effectively, if you compare two camshafts, like a flat tappet compared to a hydraulic or a solid roller in a similar type of profile, the roller will always come out on top. The only thing is with a roller is you do need to run higher valve spring pressures on the seat and also open because you've got the mass of that roller lifter there and you need to keep it under control. But otherwise, there is many, many, many positives.